So in this session, we are going to talk about the HashiCorp vault policies. And to be very specific, we will be taking a look on like what is the policy format, how you can create a policy file for your HashiCorp vault. Secondly, we will be taking a look like how you can write your own custom policy. Third, we will be taking a look on how to test that particular policy which you have written for your HashiCorp vault. And at last, we will be taking a look on the auth methods and how to associate a policy along with your authentication method, which we also call it as a auth method. But before we jump into the policy, let's take a look onto the path where we generally store our secrets inside our vault. So if you look onto the screen, so this is uh, my vault on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you can see the different paths. So here is path one, part two and part three so these are the path where we generally store our secret inside our vault but these paths are just an example uh, but in your case this path might be different because of your local settings and your local development environment for your vault but you might be wondering like why we are discussing paths over here when we are discussing about the policies so if you take a look on the next diagram over here so here you can see this is the policy and the name of the policy is my policy this is just an example I'm taking over here and uh, this is a vault over here again it's the same thing uh, same picture which I have just shown you previously and these are the paths path 1 path 2 and path 3 so whenever you're writing a policy then you are dictating or you're telling a HashiCorp vault like what kind of a operation I want to uh, control with the policy so here you can see uh, whenever you are trying to uh, insert something into the vault then you are going to perform a write operation or if you want to fetch something then you are going to perform a read operation and similarly if you are going to update some of the secret then you will be performing the update operation so policy is something which covers like what kind of operation you are allowed to do on those particular path so here you can see if if you want to restrict something on a path one then you can create a policy over here and in that policy you can just tell that you can only read and write for particular path one and you cannot do any update operation over here so these this is something which you can cover with the policies and you can define uh, n number of policy inside your vault based on the secret and how you want to secure them also one more thing to notice over here you can use the same policy this my policy to the part two also so it is not uh, like that that you can uh, apply only one policy to the one path you can use the same policy to the other path also so keep in mind that you can reuse a particular policy which you have created moving further the next thing is like what is the format or how you can write your policy file so here you can see uh, this is my policy file which I'll be taking into the example and for today's session also so this is a file which ends with the extension dot SCL this is the recommendation from our HashiCorp vault documentation so you have to create a file with a dot SCL extension and you can keep any name of your choice it doesn't matter it has to be a significant name which justifies your business case uh, moving further uh, here you will see uh, this is the screenshot which I have taken from the original HashiCorp website documentation and it is the same example I'm taking it from there so you can refer to their original documentation also if you feel like if you need any more information out of it all right so here this is the policy file and here there are a couple of things which you need to notice over here the first thing is path as I have already mentioned over here in the screenshot like you need to specify the path where you will be applying these policies so here in the uh, file the policy file you will notice there is a path written over here so you need to specify the path and similarly there is a one more path over here so you can uh, entertain couple of paths or more than one path inside your single policy file so that's one thing all right so how this path has been written over here so if you notice over here then the path starts with the secret then data and then we are using a wildcard so anything after data uh, we will uh, we are going to apply this policy and the policies are we can uh, align that particular uh, in that policy to create and update particular secrets so this is the capabilities we are allowing inside that policy for this particular path similarly if you look on the next path so here this is the uh, this is a very uh, exact path we are trying to refer over here so we want to apply only to the secret data and foo path over here sorry uh, foo path over here so here you will see and the capabilities we are only applying over here is the read so anything uh, which is written or inserted inside the path secret data foo 
uh, this policy will only allow you to read it and you cannot perform any write or update operation. So this is how you can uh, combine multiple capabilities inside a single policy file. And we will be using the this file into the next steps also. Now I'm assuming that you have a very basic understanding of the policies and how the policies are defined inside your HashiCorp vault. Next thing we are going to take a look, we are just going to take a look on the CLI commands for our policies. So the first command which we are going to discuss over here, so if you are trying to work on a HashiCorp vault and you want to know what are the policies which has been already created, then you can simply use the command vault policy list. So this is a very basic command which will list out all the policies which is defined under your vault. So this is my terminal and the command I'm just going to run is vault policy list. And here you can see there are a couple of policies that is default and root since this is my development box and uh, this vault is pretty new so i haven't created any policy at all right now so that's why you will always get a default and a root policies which is like a default once you install your hashicorp vault so these are the policies uh, which is available right now into my vault let's create a my policy which i have just shown you previously so i'm just going to create this policy with the command line interface so let's switch over to our terminal over here and uh, I'm just going to clear the screen and as you can see we are only having a default and a root policies and I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to paste the command over here. So just a second I'm just going to copy it and paste it over here. So here you can see uh, the one way is either you can uh, save your file with the .scl extension and instead of writing directly on a command line, you can just supply the name of the policy file. But here, instead of creating a file, I have just directly copied the content of my policies. So here I'm just creating the policy with the name my policy. And these are the capabilities I am just assigning on that particular path, which I have just explained earlier. One more thing, whenever you are applying a policy, then always look for the success message at the bottom of your command line because that will confirm you that you have successfully created the policy. So here you can see our policy has been created and the name of the policy is my policy. Next thing what I'm going to do, I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm again going to run the list policy so that I can see that uh, that particular my policy has been created or not. So if I hit enter, then you can see uh, my policy is there now. So along with the default and the root one, which are like a by default with created by a HashiCorp vault. So now our policy has been created successfully. The next command which we are going to run is the read command. So this is a very basic example right now I am taking, but if you are working on a HashiCorp vault, which has been created uh, for a really long time, then you might be wondering like if someone has created a policy, then how can I view that particular policy and what's written inside that? If you simply run a list command, then it is just going to tell you the name. So here you can see it is just going to tell you the name of the policy, but it is not telling you like what's the content inside that particular policy. And for that, we are going to run the command read and the read command is also very similar like a vault policy read and the name of the policy which you which is already being created. So here my policy which I have already created. So I'm just going to simply hit enter and here you can see the same uh, content and the capabilities which we have defined inside our policy. So you can use this read command to read the content of your policy. All right, the one more command which I just wanted to show you is the delete, but I'm just gonna, not going to execute it because we are going to use the, we are going to use this policy for our next uh, in the next step. So here you can see this is the command for delete in case if you want to delete any policy, then the you can use the uh, you can pretty much write the same command CLI command, which is like a read and list. But here you need to specify the keyword that is delete and the policy name over here. So this command is pretty much similar to the read only the difference is you need to write a delete keyword over here so that it can delete that particular policy. The next topic which we are going to discuss inside the policy is the token and how to associate those token with the policy. If you have followed my earlier session of this HashiCorp vault, then I have shown like you can get a root token. So I can just show you again. So this is my terminal and whenever I start my server, since I'm doing it for a development and the demo purpose, that's why I have started my server in a development mode, which you can see over here. So whenever you start any HashiCorp vault server, then you are, you will be getting a root token. So this root token is just like uh, 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 consider as a password for your root 
uh, user for that particular vault. This is just an analogy I am giving. It is not the exact uh, definitions, but root token, you will have all the access within the vault. So whenever you start a vault, then you always get a root token. So now whenever you're working with the uh, policies, then you need to associate a token with a particular policy. Now the question is, how can you attach a token with the policies? So if you look onto the screen over here, so this is the command which you need to write. So here, first of all, we need to create a token. So here, this is the command uh, which you need to write inside this bigger command. So here we are writing vault token create. So this will generate a token for you. And then you need to mention the policy name with which you want to associate it. So here I'm just writing the policy name. So this is the policy name which I have just created. That is my policy. And then you need to export everything as an environment variable and the environment variable name is uh, vault underscore token. So this is the command which you need to run so that you can associate a particular token with that particular policy. So here is my terminal and I'm just going to run that particular command to attach the token. So here you can see I have successfully attached my token with the policy. All right, so now we have our vault, we have our policy, we have our root token associated with our policy. Now it's time to write some secrets using our policy. So here uh, again, I have taken the same screenshot of my policy, which I have already created. And I'm just wanted to emphasize over here onto this particular path that is using the wildcard that is star. And this is a specific path that is foo. So here the path is secret data star. I mean, anything after data will be, this policy will be applied for a create and update. And similarly, uh, this is a very specific path only for secret data foo, where you will only have the read permission. So I just want to recap it. The next thing is like how uh, you are going to apply the policy when you are going to write some secrets. So here's the command uh, for writing the secret and uh, I'll, I'll just explain the command over here. So the command is pretty simple. We will start with the vault then key value pair because we are just storing the key value pair. Then we are just performing a write operation. That's why we are writing over here is a put. And then here, this is a critical part over here. You need to specify mount and here you need to specify path actually. So here, if you look carefully over here, then here, this is the path. But uh, with the, I think it's a secret engine version two, when uh, HashiCorp has introduced the version two, then you don't need to specify the complete path over here. So you need to specify the first that is secret, that is secret over here. And you don't need to specify data. I don't know why, but this is something which is HashiCorp has mentioned into their documentation. And then the creds after that. So this path like mount secret and then creds will become like a secret data and creds over here. And if you look over here into our policy, then we, we specified star over here. So anything after data, anything, any path which you return over here. So here in our example, it's creds. So this policy will be applied to that particular secret whenever you're trying to write it at that particular location. So just try to keep in mind whenever it is written like a mount secret and then creds. So then here it will come data also. So this is going to be your exact path. Now I'm jumping back to my terminal and I'm just going to write the command over here. And here you can see this command is pretty much the same, which I have just explained onto my screen. So yeah, this is the same command which I'm writing over here. So this is my terminal and ideally this policy should allow me to write this particular secret at the location secrets, data and creds. So I will just gonna simply hit enter over here. And here you can see I'm able to successfully write. So here you can verify the same thing over here, the path which I was talking about. So the path is secrets, data and creds. So I'm able to create my secret onto that particular location using the policy which I have just created. Now let's take one unhappy case or uh, what I would say a case where our policy is not allowing us to write some secret. So I will jump back to the screen again. So here you can see uh, here I'm just trying to write another uh, secret and the location I'm trying to write it over here is foo. And if you look at our policy document then foo 
path we are only allowed to perform a read operation not a write operation so whenever i'm just trying to run this command this is here you can see this is a put i'm trying to do over here so whenever i'm trying to do a put operation or write operation on that particular path then it should restrict us or it should restrict me so let's jump back to terminal and see the command in action so here is my terminal i'm just gonna create i'll just clear the screen over here so that we get a little bit more space i'm just gonna write the command and hit enter so here you can see and the error which we got over here is permission denied and the location is secret data foo so i'm getting very specific over here and i'm just trying to write my secret at the location secret data foo and according to the policy i can only perform a read operation but not a write operation and that's why we got a permission denied issue over here all right so now till now we have seen like what is the policy how can you create a policy how can you attach a root token or the token with the policy and how you can just test out uh, by creating some secret and verify your policies whether those are working or not the next topic is like the auth method and the policies uh, but I would highly recommend to check the previous uh, session where I have shown like what are auth methods and how I have created a GitHub auth method inside my HashiCorp world. Because if you don't know how auth method, then it will be really hard to grasp this concept with the policies for auth methods. So the auth methods are something where you can use the external services like GitHub, uh, AWS or uh, Google Cloud to provide the authentication, the external authentication. So uh, what HashiCorp World allows you to do that and you can create a multiple auth, auth methods for your HashiCorp World. So now I'm assuming that there are some auth methods which is being created but since this is my development box so I have not created many uh, auth method. I'm just using the default one. Uh, which is already provided by a HashiCorp vault. So the first command which we need to see over here is the auth list. So this is the command which we are going to run onto our terminal and just to see like what are the auth method which are already available with us. So here is my terminal and the command which I'm just going to run to check my auth list is the vault auth list command. And here you can see this is the default auth method which is already present inside my HashiCorp vault. Now I'm just going to enable one auth method and the name of the method is approll. So this is just a custom auth method which I'm just trying to enable it over here. So I will just switch back to my terminal once again and I'm just going to copy the command from my notepad and go to my terminal and paste it over here. So here you can see I have successfully enabled the auth method that is app role and we can re-verify by using the list command and we should see over here. So now you can see our app role auth method is there into the auth list command. Now coming back to our notes over here, if you on, if you will see onto the screen over here, so here we have created our app role auth method, but now we are talking about the policies. So we need to associate this app role with our policy. So this is the next task we are going to do because we have created, uh, we have enabled our auth method that is app role, but we have not attached any policies with it. So here, this is the command uh, which we need to run to associate our uh, auth method with our policy. So here, this is the app role which you can see over here, which I have mentioned in the command. And this is the policy name which I am going to associate with that particular auth method. And apart from that, there are some parameters which you need to provide that is secret ID TTL. So this is a time to live. And uh, there are number of users, then token TTL, and then uh, max TTL. So these are the parameters which you need to provide whenever you're trying to associate a auth method with the policy. You can go through the HashiCorp documentation to read more about these parameters, so which is already there onto the HashiCorp website. But this is the next command which we are going to run and we are going to associate our auth method with the policy. So this is my terminal over here. I'm just gonna clear the screen and I'm just gonna paste the method, uh, sorry, the command and apply it. So here you can see it has been successfully executed and we have associated our policy with our auth method. Moving to the next uh, point over here. So the next point we will be talking about the secret ID and the role ID. So 
If you talk about any authentication or any external authentication method, then you need to provide the username and the password. So suppose if you are using the uh, uh, GitHub external authentication, then in that case, you need to provide some username and password. So similarly here, you can use the same analogy. And here we need to generate the secret ID and the role ID so that we can uh, use that particular uh, auth method which we have just created along with the policy. So here these are the secret ID and this is the role ID and these are the commands which we need to run to generate those secret ID and the role ID so that we can use that auth method along with our policy. So first of all I'm just going to run the role ID commands to generate the role ID and this is the command which I'm just going to run and hit enter and after that I'm just going to run the secret ID export command also. I'm just going to paste the command over here and here you can see I have successfully exported the role ID as well as the secret ID. Alright, so now we have generated the role ID and the secret ID. The next thing which we are going to do, we are just going to perform some or we, we are just going to write some configuration using those role ID and the secret ID. So this is the command which we are going to run. So here we are just going to perform a write configuration using the role ID and the secret ID which we have generated for our auth method along with our policy. So jumping back to the terminal and I'm just going to paste the command over here which is a write command for a vault and simply hit, hit going to hit enter. So here you can see we are able to uh, write those configuration on the path that auth app role login where app role is our uh, auth method and these are the tokens which has been generated for that particular auth method and which we can reuse into our HashiCorp vault configuration which we are trying to do. And here this is the policy which has been associated with that particular authentication method. So this was a small session on how to handle the policies along with your HashiCorp vault. In the next session we will be talking about how to deploy your vault in a production like environment.